Hello everyone. Welcome to this video tutorial on Golang vs Rust by Simply Learn. In this session, you will go through a brief introduction to both languages Golang and Rust. Both languages provide high performance and efficient hardware capacity, making them considerable for various projects by the developers. After knowing the basics, you will learn about the differences between them, and further, you will learn about the cons of Golang and Rust. So, hey everyone, I'm Abhisar Oja from Simply Learn, and welcome to this video on Golang vs Rust. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Let's start with the introduction to Golang. Golang It's an open source statically typed compiled language developed by Google. It has a stronger focus on building web APIs and small services that can scale endlessly. It was designed by Robert Grismer, Rob Pike, and Ken Thompson to reduce the complexity of managing the infrastructure and code bases within Google. It comes with Go routines, strong security, and some standard libraries, which we will discuss further. Now we will get introduced to Rust. Rust is a multi paradigm, general purpose, and a high level programming language. Rust works well for processing large amounts of data and other CPU intensive operations such as executing algorithms. Graydon Hore, along with Dave Herman, Brendan H., and others, introduced the language at Mozilla Research. It got its 1.0 version on May 15, 2015. Rust is focused on safety, stability, performance, and safe concurrency. Now, we will drive to compare them. Starting with performance, Go and Rust are both compiled languages and they directly translate the code to executable machine code. Both machines produce efficient code. Many big MNCs use Rust to boost speed, whereas Go is famous for reducing the number of responsible servers to almost a tenth of the original capacity. Rust has the upper hand in delivering output over Go due to its great runtime speed but it lacks at compilation time. On the other hand, Go is better in compilation time, but lacks at runtime speed. Let's do a comparison of the two from a concurrency perspective. Go was designed to use CPUs efficiently and handle multiple tasks simultaneously. The purpose was accomplished with the introduction of Go routines. These are lightweight, call fewer resources, and are executed independently. They run concurrently with other functions and have eliminated the need to create new threads. On the other hand, Rust was recently introduced with the native syntax in the form of async, await, and guarantees memory stability. Developers prefer to work with Go in the case of concurrency. Now, we will move ahead and compare the two on memory management and security. Go and Rust practice safe access and memory management with different approaches, making them the choice for cloud computing. Go offers various paradigms such as memory allocation and automatic garbage collection to handle possible threats. Go gets automated during the runtime and makes developers do not bother to assign or remove the memory. On the other hand, Rust ensures no memory leakage during the compile time. Moreover, the code won't be compiled until it's memory safe, which requires developers to be attentive and be aware of memory allocation. Let's see the easiness to code and learn these languages. Rust comes with a much steeper learning curve than Go. While Go is relatively easier than Rust, it has a steeper learning curve than other languages like JavaScript and Python. Go was designed with a relatively simpler syntax than Rust and was adopted as an easier alternative to C++. On the other hand, people find Rust a little hard with syntax as the language is new and passing pointers make the codes more complex. Now it's time to get to the next point of comparison, that is development speed. Development speed is far more crucial than performance, that is how quick quest it is to write software with the language than to run it. Go 
With its simplicity, set some benchmarks by quicker build speed than a range of languages in the market. But it has to sacrifice its runtime performance for it. On the other hand, Rust's memory safety feature compromises compilation time and its features take time to understand, making the developer compensate with both compilation and development time. Now we will move to scalability. Both programming languages are used to develop large scale applications with their ability to handle multiple concurrent functions. Go is designed for large scale software development involving large code bases and teams, handling enormous amounts of data in real time. It's a great solution for dynamic organizations where scale and speed define the development workflow. On the other hand, Rust has a stronger inclination toward applications that favor speed such as game development, web browser components or real-time control systems. Now we'll see companies hiring for Golang and Rust. First we'll start with Golang. First is American Express. The American Express company is an American multinational corporation, primarily known for its credit cards and payment processing. Their payments and rewards platform team adopted Go in 2016. They focused mainly on microservices, transaction routing, and load balancing use cases, and they needed to modernize their architecture. They also published a case study. American Express uses Go for payments and rewards. Next is PayPal. PayPal Holdings Incorporation is an American multinational financial technology company majorly dominant in operating online payments. Their senior director of engineering, developer experience at PayPal, Bala Natarajan said that Go provides channels and routines to deal with complexity. They were able to structure the code to meet our requirements. Go is a first class language at PayPal and there are currently over 100 Go developers at PayPal. Uber. Uber Technologies Incorporation is American mobility as a service provider. Uber has now preferred Go for building many of Uber engineering new services. Formerly, they were mainly based on Node.js and Python. Golang helps Uber to handle a majority of high queries per second services at Uber. Recently, they have written geo-based services in Golang. Next is Alibaba. Alibaba Group Holding Limited also known as Alibaba, is a Chinese multinational technology company specializing in e-commerce, retail, internet, and technology. Alibaba Group Container Engine, Pouch Container, has written in Golang. It can pack, deliver, and run any application. It helped all online transactions of Alibaba's smoothly on millions of containers. Now, we'll see some companies that are using Rust and they hire developers for Rust. First is Dropbox. It is a file hosting service operated by an American company that uses Rust for parts of its file synchronization engine. Since the engine is highly concurrent, they choose Rust over any other language. Cloudflare Incorporation. It's an American web infrastructure and website security company that uses Rust as a core language and replaces C with Rust for its memory and safety feature. Figma. It's a collaborative web-based design tool for vector graphics and interface prototyping. Due to their rapid growth, they chose Rust to rewrite their multiplayer synchronization engine. Rust has helped them drop off the load from their servers. Discord is an instant messaging and digital distribution platform. Users communicate with voice calls, video calls, text messaging, media and files in private chats or as part of communities called servers. Discord uses Rust in multiple places of their code base, both on the client and server side. Now we'll move to learn some cons of Golang. First, there's a lack of manual memory management in Golang and sometimes it becomes difficult to handle errors while using Golang. And there are few libraries and frameworks. There are no major frameworks for Golang developers. Other languages such as Ruby, they have Ruby on Rails, Python have Django, and PHP has Laravel. Now we'll move to learn some cones of Rust. Learning Rust is not easy 
when compared to other languages. That's why it has a higher learning curve. Low level monkey patching support than Python and Perl. Here, monkey patching refers to modifying a class or module at a runtime. The next one is the compiler is slow as compared to some scripting languages. With that, we have come to the end of this session. I hope it was interesting and informative. If you liked it, please let us know in the comment section below. Also, do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.